How you going? Yeah, so um, yeah, I'm Luke from Drifter and uh, we're going to have a bit of a look at some canvas stuff today. So let's go up to the dot shed and the canvas room and have a bit of a look, eh? Yeah. No worries. How are you, Lee? A bit quieter up here today. That is, yes. So, uh, this is Lee, and uh, she's working for us, you know, full time now. And um, Jenny's, uh, yeah, Andrew's mum, of course, being quite famous now, Andrew's mum. Uh, she's away today. Uh, Andrew's, um, he drives rally cars, and he's coming at the moment uh, third in New South Wales for open rally, so they're away at a rally today. So I thought we'd come up and show you some of the products we're making. Um, yeah, it's quite busy here now. We've got another machine going in here shortly, so we'll have three machines full, full time. Um, and uh, so I'll show you some of the things we're doing. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, so it sort of just started out we're making a few um, walls for our four of the trailers and some of the uh, rubbish bags on the front of the trailer then a lot of customers wanted uh, a bag for the generator and then a bag for a portable toilet or all sorts of things and then I started wanting bags for myself so most of these things is you know a combination of what customers have wanted or things I wanted myself um, so I'll show you some of them that's what we call them basically a dunny bag it's just a nice small bag it's got the zip there and um, I've been carrying you know a similar size army bag for a long time, just for toilet paper and you know uh, a bit of soap, things like that. So you could have that in the back of your car, you know, just with your that sort of thing in there. The style we're sort of doing is is it's an 8 ounce Australian made canvas, uh, large YKK zip, and some black trim. So they sort of we've got the Drifter logo on there as well. Um, you know, looks quite nice. Got some little ties on the back here. Now you don't have to use that as a dunny bag, you could use that for anything. You could, uh, that'll fit quite nicely in your drawers and you could put quite a lot of different things in there. Um, this is a little bag, we call an every, everyday carry bag. Sort of like a bit of a shoulder bag I suppose. Um, and I've always wanted something like this. Now we can just open that up. It's got a bit of mar marine carpet in the back in there. And just for carrying all the little bits and pieces. We've also put a little pocket on this side, so um, just for keys and maybe a credit card or something. So they're quite nice. We've also kind of wanted this. We've got a bit of webbing on the front, just so you can, yeah, you, know, you can tie stuff on there or hang things on. Um, the other thing you can do as well, you can unclip these. Now I carry this pretty much everywhere. We travel about a fair bit, and if I'm you know, wherever I'm going, I can just chuck that in one of my other bags, and it's got all my sort of small essentials in there that I like to carry with me: torch and a knife and things. So that's that one. Now this is another one here. We're calling this a half jerry can bag, right? Eh? So these are jerry can bags, and we've got two different styles. I'll show you them in a sec. But this is our half jerry can bag. Now this is about twice the width of the little dunny bag so um, what I wanted that for was basically recovery gear and same as the same style um, this three sided zip works really well because you can open it right up um, nothing worse than a zip down the middle and it's just hard to get the stuff the other thing we're doing a lot of is putting this marine carpet in the bottom uh, we use a lot of that for different things and we have quite a bit left over scrap so we're putting that in the bottom which gives a nice firm base protects the bag as well you can see that how well it opens up um, now this one just has a zip on top, we don't need the waterproof lid on this um, because it's just designed as to go inside the back of your vehicle, wherever you like, in your drawers, lay it down, or mostly this is for down the side of my drawers in, in the back of my truck, so I'll put recovery gear in that. So that's the half jerry can bag. So these are the two jerry cans, so a lot of people have got a rear bar, I uh, will show you my truck as well in a sec, and you mightn't want to carry jerry cans all the time. So. This basically features as a rubbish bag, right? So we've got a waterproof top on it. Um, it's made out of heavy duty PVC. And 
you know that it'll fit in the um, in the jerry can holder of a camping trailer, any trailer, or also the rear jerry can holders. I've got a bit of um, 4.7 mil ply in the back there. Okay, we've seen to the edge. That goes in there to give it a bit of um, a bit of uh, stiffener in the height. So when you strap these down, it won't sort of collapse on you. Um, again, it's got a, a nice big YKK zip. It's got a, a lip on the top, fold over. This is really good as a rubbish bag, but you can also put um, anything you like. You know, when you're travelling, shoes, dirty shoes, muddy shoes, uh, recovery gear. You know, if you're using the recovery gear and it's all muddy, that sort of thing, it's ideal to chuck it back in there rather than pack it away back in your truck. That's the PVC jerry can bag. Now this is the same one, exactly the same really, but just in canvas. And that's designed again just for spare gear. Um, you know, you can put anything you like in there. <coughs> It'll fit in the jerry can. So, you know, yeah, shoes, spare equipment, um, recovery gear. We've got a small eyelet in the bottom. You can see that just so it'll help breathe a little bit and if there's wet stuff in there it'll sort of drain out and air out a little bit. Um, and again it's got the nice lid on it. So we make everything here of course. Um, we can do, I think the prices are pretty good because uh, a fair bit of this is scrap from the leftover from the trailers. Um, you know, so it's working quite well. What else have we got? I've done that bag. This is our Two bags we've got one is called the weekender and this is called the overnight bag so you know again similar style it's just a good size for a weekend away right -o. Um, we've got these pockets on the side here all right um, internal pockets they're nicely uh, finished but what you can do if you don't want them you can um, you can close them up and they don't take up any room you can see that so also got the marine carp on the bottom which gives a nice base but that's really good you might want to put dirty clothes on one side socks and undies on the other whatever you want um, now we've got two two zips on that so uh, that's really good if it's in the back of your truck you know you can sort of have the zips in the middle nothing worse than the bags in your truck and the zips at the back end of it and you can't you know get to it so um, yeah you've got some nice straps on there We've got a pocket on each side. Yeah, we've got a pocket on each side as well. Righto, on the, um, so that's the weekender bag. So, you know, I've got to call them something and I'd call that the weekender because that's, you know, if we're going away for a weekend, a little bit bigger. You can see the size of the overnight bag, which is a little bit shorter and less in height as well. So if you're going away just for overnight, then that's a good size. Also really good for kids. Um, you know, just not quite as much size, and you can see that there. Now we've just done the one pocket on the inside. I love these pockets; they're just really good. Flatten them out of the way. Um, yeah. So we've also got some nice edging on the inside. You can see that the girls do a beautiful job. Um, you know, and uh, you yeah, know they're they're very experienced, uh, Jenny and Lee. And uh, I found um, their background is sewing. You know, rather than upholstery, it's been sort of sewing like curtains and material type stuff. And I've found that, um, you know, that sort of experience produces a much neater finish. Some of the upholsters we've used in the past, a long time ago, they're pretty rough and ready, you know. And, um, um, but having the experience in the curtain type business beforehand, the, the work is so much neater, um, which is really good. We're very lucky to have them here. So, what else have we got? Um, I think that's it here. This is our firewood bag. You know, travelling, you could use a potato sack or whatever. But if you want a nice firewood bag, that's that one. Um, all of this here is 8 ounce canvas. And um, it's made down in Rutherford in Newcastle. Um, just a little drawstring top on it. This is a bag uh, somebody wanted us to make the other day. Oh, here we are. Here's a couple of shopping bags. Now that's the same sort of shopping bag you get, you know, from Coles or Woolies. Just a little shopping bag, but you know, it's a nice canvas one, a nice trim, Drifter logo. I've got an eyelet on the top here, 
So you can uh, tie that together a bit of string if you wanted to. But it's just an open shopping bag really. Um, quite handy for you know anything at all, just spare gear or put your knitting in there, whatever. Um, a lot of these bags too, you know, it's um, they make quite good presents for someone. You know, it's always tricky finding presents, birthday, Christmas for people. There's all unique stuff. You can't buy these any shop. Um, got our logo on there, of course, made here in Gloucester, and uh, they're very handy bags. Some, all this stuff you'd be able to use, no matter who you give it to, they'd be able to make use of it, and they'd have it forever as well. So, um, you know, you can keep that in mind. It's good for presents. Now, this bag here is the same dimensions as a shopping bag. Pretty much, not quite as high, but it's got a zip on top. So that's an all-purpose bag. You could take it shopping, you could do anything you like. But it's got a closed lid on it, as you can see, so um, that's a little bit better than the open one sometimes. All right, we'll have a look around here and see what else is happening. So over here we've got a lot of stuff we're making for our camping accessories and also Snow Peak. So um, this boot line is great. We use it for all our drawers. We've got a lot of offcuts. This little bag we're doing for uh, um, for a small peg bag, so for ropes and short pegs. Uh, this is our Doble Light Kit bag, so this is the short Doble Light. Um, we're calling it a four drive light kit. That'll fit in there nicely, and the charger. Got a couple of these bits of double sided Velcro. Now this stuff is brilliant, and we've got it on the web now. So it's double sided. It's very clever stuff. All it means is that it sticks to itself. You can see that. Once it's stuck together, it's very strong. The good thing about it, you can use that to hook up pretty much anything, say to spread a bars of an awning or a tent, the internal frame of an Oz tent. <coughs> hook that up like that, and you can wrap anything around it, you can hold the light up. So this stuff is brilliant. Now, it also sticks to that. So we include two pieces of that with this uh, four drive light kit bag. So you can use that to tie the light up to your spread of bars. That's a little 300 by 300 bag, which is handy for lots of things. Mainly been using that for our light kit. Um, that's a little bit bigger one. Again, for just general purpose, but we're putting our Doble uh, um, solar panel and the table in there. This is the Doble bag, which has got the, um, the poles going there, so the long Doble pole goes in there. Uh, that's this one here. So that's the Doble... Uh, light pole, we've shown you that before. Um, you take it out of the box, but that slips inside here. And this is another one that's new. Sometimes people um, might already have a Doble light, they don't come with a bag, um, or you want to buy another one. So what we've done is um, put it in there like that. So it's just a single bag. These Doble lights are really nice. Um, that'll be turned off, it's a brand new one. But that's a really nice light pole. The battery's inside. But they don't come, you know, it's stainless steel, got a battery. You want to look after them. So we've made a little bag. That's a single bag for the Dover light. And that just goes in there like that. Got a little bit of room for your bits and pieces. Okay, so if you didn't want to get the large bag, which fits two in there, you just get the small bag like that. And you can put that in with the rest of your poles or on your tent, and that protects it nicely. Um, Snow Peak have got a nice uh, hot plate for the fire pits. It doesn't come with a bag, so we've just made that bag there. So that's the full hot plate bag. Um, the half net, half hot plate for the fire pit, which is a little we call the half and half. It doesn't come with a bag either, and it really need, needs a bag. So that goes in there. So a little bit of Velcro, open it up, and they slide in there. But with the half and half, they're both for cooking. You want to keep them protected out of the dirt and the sand, so you really do need a bag. This is a little charcoal bag, and geez, these have been really popular. We can't hardly keep up making these. So basically a bag of heat beads slips inside that, um, closes it up, and that's your heat bead bag, or your charcoal bag. So, you know, a lot of people carry the, uh, the heat bead brand of, of uh, heat beads, and uh, very good for the fire pit for cooking. But it's in a paper bag, it gets wet, and then it's just going to fall everywhere. And, so it's, and it's really good, so um, these work great. A couple of fire, uh, camp oven bags. This will fit the large Snow Peak camp oven. It's very hard to get their bags sometimes. So we've been selling a few of these when we run out of the Snow Peak ones. Um, it's got a solid base in it, a bit of ply uh, with boot liner. 
But this will also fit a lot of other camp ovens. If, you, if you've got a nice camp oven, um, you know, you could buy that as well. We'll give you the size on the website. I've got Velcro on a few tabs. I like to have the lid fully removable, so it'll, it'll Velcro on. You can take it off, and that means you can sit things on there. It's like a little tablecloth almost, or when you're camping, it's always a matter of trying to keep your cooking gear out of the dirt, and that's why I've got a removable lid. If that was on a zip, it comes off, and it's sort of fairly useless. But having it like that, you can always chuck things on there. Same thing with this. This is a little bag for the, uh, for the small micro-oval oven, it's called, a snow peak oven. It doesn't come in the bag, so we've made that one. Same sort of style, the lid comes off. Uh, what else have we got? This is a uh, Jacaro table bag. And that's that one there. I haven't done a Jacaro table video yet, but I'll do that shortly. And that's it in here. Uh, the Jacaro table is this here. We've got quite a few of these in stock. So there's the fire pit. And it just, it's a table surround, goes around the outside of the fire pit. They're really good. Um, it doesn't take long to set up. It's a beautiful pit, piece of stainless steel kit and it makes it, uh, you know, it transforms your fire pit into a real communal cooking area. Um, and, you can, and you can see it there as well. It'll fit both the medium and also the large fire pits. Thing is, with that again, it doesn't come with a, a proper bag, so that's it in there. Okay, you can see it's all beautiful stainless steel. Um, we'll show you that later on how it all works. So what we've done, we've put it in here. We've got some uh, boot liner carpet to protect between them and um, just a really nice bag. So if you're buying something like that, it's worthwhile getting a nice bag to carry it in. Now, you know, um, the other thing we can do is, um, you can see we can make pretty much anything. A lot of people have got a really nice solar panel, for example, that paid eight, nine hundred dollars for it. Um, and often those sort of good quality solar panels will come with a pretty crap bag. So uh, we can make solar panel bags or um, all sorts of things. So if you've got something you need, you just have to maybe send us a photo of what it is, um, send us some dimensions, and we can make something up. No worries. Uh, that's the little. That's my first style of the half jerry can bag but we didn't really need this um, covered zip there, area there so we, that's why we did the open zip let out of the way um, this is a bunker bag these have been quite popular and I'm using a PVC for that it's got a double zip on it and we've made it a little bit bigger than the standard Austin bag you can see that there so it's got the full zip, opens right up. The Austin bags are zipped down the middle, a little bit hard to get in, and these are bigger as well. So, um, Also with the zip down the middle of a, uh, the, the bunker bag, the zip's down the middle, and uh, it does, it's not really waterproof. The bag deteriorates, and having that um, PVC is, is the best we can do to, to make it as waterproof as we can. Um, the other thing we're doing a lot of now is these Ozzent bags. Um, yeah, so this is a prototype. Actually, we've changed them a little bit, but uh, you know, a lot of people have had an Oz tent for a long time. They're a beautiful tent, but the bag has always been a bit of a, a bit. How you going? So um, that's it there. Now that's my original Oz 10 I bought about 12 years ago. Um, you can imagine what the bag's like. We do the three-sided zip again, and you can fit all that in there, no worries. So, um, you know, um, we can do those, no worries. Now we can do bags for all the different Oz 10s. It's got a beautiful big zip on it, and uh, the new ones have got a carry handle at each end. Um, so that's the Oz tent bag. Another little one here. This is a new product just come from Snow Peak in our last shipment. It's a little small kettle. Beautiful stainless steel kettle. And again, doesn't come in the bag. 
So Jenny's made this up, and um, that's it there. So it's only quite small on the base, um, but you can see it's beautiful stainless steel, a nice handle, and a uh, nice little feature. It's got this little lid on there that locks open, um, so that won't tip up when you're pouring. The thing is on the fire, um, you don't want too big a base because on the fire pits, you know, it's only that size. If you've got too big a base, it's hard to find a spot for it on the fire. Um, whereas this with a narrow base, you can sit in there, the flames can come up around it. And having this little cap over the top means that, uh, you know, you're not going to get ash and things in there. So that's really nice. So we've made up that little bag. It's just a soft boot liner bag. And uh, we'll have them on the web soon and selling them, you know, as the, with, with the option of having a nice little bag as well. All right, well, I think that's it. So I just wanted to show you some of those. You can see we can make pretty much anything um, and got a lot of stuff we're putting on the web now. So, um, yeah, thanks very much.